Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here, serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia. Wanted to do a video on zoning and just a little preface. I'm not gonna get super crazy in this video. If there's something specific that you're wondering about, just give me a comment below. But I, I wanted to address a few things when it comes to a zoning system on your regular central ducted system. I wanted to touch on a few times that, you know, it makes sense to have zoning. And then there's times when maybe it doesn't make sense to have zoning. And I'm actually going to start with that when it doesn't make sense versus when it does, because, you know, it might surprise you, but I, I know a lot of times companies that do what I do, they're going to push it or, you know, if it's an extra, they're trying to sell you something or whatever. And before I get into everything, I just want to say that if ductwork is installed properly, so if it's sized right, everything's installed right, and then the system is installed correctly, you should get, I would say within five CFMs or so, the vent that's the furthest away from the system versus the vent that's the closest to the system, you should get within five or 10 CFMs out of both. It should not matter that that vent is so far away. I've seen houses where the ducts weren't sized properly or installed properly. And so you start getting these vents that are further away and they don't have the velocity. They don't have the oomph to you know heat and cool that space. So if everything is installed right and sized right, you should have relatively the same, everything should be balanced. It should be all blowing out correctly and all that good stuff. I just wanna start with that. So if you have an instance in your home where you are having low airflow out of one vent versus another or something like that, adding a zoning system or even just a manual damper may actually fix that, but that's not, in my opinion, the root of the problem. So if you're having that, then, you know, somebody needs to take a look at what you have going on. Again, let's talk about instances that maybe it doesn't necessarily make sense for you to have zoning. And again, we're just talking about basic zoning systems, regular, you know, you're going to have your zoning module and dampers that open and close, no modulating stuff or communicating stuff in this video. Uh, there's systems out there that you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with. And I'm not going to talk about any of that in this video. We're just talking about a simple you know, in one area, it has a thermostat with a damper. If that thermostat calls, that damper opens, brings the system on and blows air into that area. When does it not make sense for you to have a zoning system installed? Well, first thing I would say is if you have a house that's sort of an open floor plan concept, or a space of that nature, I don't think you necessarily need to spend the money on, you know, putting in anything crazy, you know, putting in zoning and all that stuff. Uh, you know, you may have to regulate the air or, or change this or that based on hot and cold spots in your home. But as I've already said, if everything is installed properly and sized properly, you shouldn't have those types of issues anyway. Not saying you won't ever have anything but in general, you should not be having those sorts of issues. So that would be the first thing I would throw out there. The other thing is I've seen houses where, you know, it'll be a choppy floor plan and they'll have just like this tiny little bedroom with its own zone, you know, and, and their thought process is, well, you know, if that room's hot or cold versus the rest of the house, then, you know, I don't need to heat and cool the rest of the house. I'll just heat and cool that room that we're spending time in or whatever. And it, it's a smaller space. That gets right back to the, if everything's installed properly and so on. If you have a small zone like that and you're turning on this, you know, let's just say you have a four ton system. So you got this massive system that has the capability of doing all this square footage and all this space in a house and you're turning on that monster of a system as far as capacity to heat and cool just this little tiny room. In my opinion, and you know, there's there's been studies about whether it's more efficient to have a zoning system or not and all this stuff, 
but just in general, just from a, a, a common sense standpoint, if you got this monster of a system coming on just to heat and cool this little space, it's not the best for that system in general, to be honest with you. Now, there are systems that they'll install bypass dampers so that that extra air has somewhere to go. And there's systems that they'll, they even have like a temperature probe on the supply side of your air handler or furnace. And that will tell the outdoor unit to shut off if the air coming out is too much of a difference. You know, so there are things that'll help mediate that. But just in general, if you got this monster of a system running and imagine if you're breathing through your mouth, but you can only ever breathe, right? You know, I'm, I'm covering all those other zones and you got to live your entire life like that through breathing through just that little hole. You, you know, the wear and tear on that system, again, in my opinion, I'm sure there's heating and air guys that have had other experiences. There's people on YouTube way smarter than me. They love commenting on my videos and telling me how smart they are. But I'm just saying in general, from a common sense standpoint, I don't know that you need zoning if you have that small room. If there's a, a problem, temperature problem in there, then your issue gets back to the installation or the sizing or whatever. You might need to take a look at that, have somebody that knows how to do all that stuff. The last thing I'll say is if you have a house that is heating and cooling just fine, and now you've got some heating and air tech trying to sell you zoning because in their opinion, your comfort level will go up or whatever. I, again, I would say just in general, I don't know that you need to spend money on all the dampers and all it's it's really more stuff that you're going to have to maintain it's you know stuff that can go bad z dampers go bad and those zones stop or whatever it's just my opinion that if everything's installed right you won't you won't have any issues with that now let's talk about when it makes sense for you to have zoning so if you've got a house and you're wondering if you should do zoning when does it actually make sense for you to have zoning well, the first thing, immediate first thing that comes to mind for me is when you have multiple levels in a house. So let's just talk, you know, there's there obviously there's different scenarios and all kinds of different houses out there. But just in general, if you have a house that's a two story house and you have one system supplying the downstairs and the upstairs, I don't care how good your duck guy is. I don't care how good he is. The, he will never be able to size or install that ductwork properly so that the upstairs and the downstairs stay at the same temperature all year long. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just say the, the guy is great and he sizes it and gets it just perfect to where in the summertime on a hot summer day, the upstairs is getting a little more air than the down because heat rises and all that sort of stuff. So you're getting everything nice and perfectly comfortable. Well, come winter time, now you've got all that extra airflow, heat rises, and you've got all that extra airflow dumping into the upstairs. So hopefully that makes sense because heat rises and some, sometimes, you know, when you have a two-story house, You've got, you know, where the upstairs is going to be a little bit warmer, whether it's in the summer or the winter, the upstairs, that heat's rising. And so in those cases, I think that it does make sense for you to have zoning. If you don't want to have two separate systems in your home, then you need to have zoning on that one system where the ducts go up to the upstairs or, you know, vice versa, ducks going down to the downstairs or whatever, you need to have that zoning system to be able to close off the other level when one level calls for heat or cool. Next, I'll say, if you are wondering if you need zoning or whatever, I do think it does make sense that if you have areas of your home that you're going to spend time in versus areas that you're not, it, there is something to be said for not heating and cooling a space as much as the areas that you're spending time in. But it gets back to that scenario I was saying before, you know, if you got just a small little bedroom or just a small space and you're trying to make that a zone, I mean, most houses, I would say you don't need more than two, three, four zones. You know, if you've got a system where you got all these zones and you got bedrooms and this and that, you're just starving that system for air at times. 
So if you got, you know, I don't know, a thousand square feet per zone or, you know, every house is different. So, you know, I wouldn't use that as a general rule, but just in general, as, I, as I'm chatting about this, I'm just saying that, you know, if you have a 3000 square foot house and you want to do three zones or whatever, and hopefully the guy laying out the ductwork puts some common sense thought into, you know, this should be in this zone and that sort of stuff. So you can save some energy that way. You know, if you're not spending as much time in a certain part of the house and, you know, you don't want to shut that part of the house off entirely, but, you know, you want to, if it's summertime, set that temperature to where if it gets, you know, above say 75, you know, at least bring it back down to that point. The system's just not running all the time or whatever, then you'll save a little bit of energy. You know, you're only cooling that space that you're spending time in. Again, hopefully that makes sense. I'm not getting all the modulating stuff or some of the systems have sensors instead of thermostats and spaces and different types of zoning. Uh, you know, I'm not getting into all that because you're talking about a whole nother animal, whole nother monster when it comes to that modulating and communicating stuff. Uh, there's times when, you know, if you got an inverter system, you can supply, you know, air to smaller spaces and things like that without starving the system for air because the system can ramp down. So, you know, I would just say, talk to your installer Find out what's the pros and cons, you know, if, if you don't do zoning versus whether or not you do do zoning. Yes, I did just say do do. Um, but, it, you know, just talk to them and, and find out the pros and cons. I think the people that do what we do the best are the ones that, you know, number one, you can talk to them. But number two, they can tell you why they are doing what they're doing. I mean, are, are they just installing something just so they can sell you something or do they have a legit concrete reason why they think your home's gonna be more comfortable or the system's gonna be more efficient and you know so on to install this zoning system. So I hope that helps. I appreciate you watching. And if you again, if you do have any questions, just put a little comment down in the comments and I will try to help you with that. So thanks for watching. If you're in our coverage area, give us a call. We'd love to earn your business. If you're not in our coverage area and you are in the market for a new heating and air system, you got to check out my new website. I'll put a link to it down in the notes. It's called newhvacguide.com. And I've put so much stuff on this website, uh, things that manufacturers and other contractors don't even want you to know. I'm putting it on this website. I even have a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from while you're, you know, replacing your heating and air system. So check that out and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.